okay so now we are, we are going to add admin login page over here before that i am going to show you some link so if you want to download admin login template using this link admin template which we already use in this admin site from here if you want to download our using user site template then you can download from here this is our admin login template so this template you can download from here admin template from here and user site template from here okay so now we are going to use this template now first of all we are going our project we drive jam 80 dots youtube project inside admin inside here we have one css folder so here also we have one css folder now we are going to check style.css but here we don't have style.css okay then we can copy this style sheet inside this folder our admin inside css folder and now this index.html file we are going to use over here now i am going to run here not this demo and direct admin yes you can see we have here this here this login page but we want to change the name so first of all open this index page create one new page new page name admin login copy this all page uh, sorry all data and paste over here and now i am going to close this index.html now going here and going to remove this index.html because we already copied that code in our admin login okay so now i am going to do here admin login.php so you can see here we have one our login page okay now we have to create database so i am going to create here database our database name we use youtube project now we are going to create our table table name is admin login we have required only three fields not more field because admin know everything so admin can change their password from also here so do not need registration form of admin now i am going to insert record okay so we have one record here now we are going to create code here in this form tag we have to use form name then addson and then method now i am going to create here before that we have to use also here name property email name email name pw we are using username so we are going to write here username and we use here text input type password of input type submit and we have to use here name submit one now we write here if is set 
do underscore post submit one and before that check here echo testing so not this so when we click this button we can see testing message yes so it means our button is worked properly now we are going to create here database connectivity so we are going to create our database connectivity so here we are going to write mysqli connect localhost root now here mysqli select db our database name is youtube underscore project and here we have to pass our dollar link now here we have to use dollar res mysql i underscore query sorry mysql i underscore query select star from admin login where username is equal to and password is equal to and here we have to pass dollar link now here we have to pass our text box name our text box name is username and password name is pwd okay now we are going to use here while loop while dollar row is equal to mysql i h a r e dollar r e s and here if our username password is correct then we are going to write here script type text star script window dot location right now we use demo.php and if user enter invalid username and password in admin panel please do not give any types of message for security reason so here what is the problem line number 3 Okay, we forgot here to give semicolon. Yes, now I am going to write anything in press button. You can see I am not forwarding one second page. Now I am going to enter write username password Amit and Noble. And now you can see we are forwarding in this login page. But there is one problem in this login page. What is I will show you if I write here admin, you can see we have only one username and password and that is amit and password is noble but here you can see i write admin and here not admin okay so i am going to use sql injection Wow, I am not logging again. Try because we have to make safe. Let's kill in that sound. We 
are going to find SQL injection video. Because we need string of this SQL injection. There are lots of string of SQL injection. Mm, not from there, we have to find from Google. Okay, we are going to try this. Okay. Okay, now I am going to write correct username and password is SQL injection. So yes, right now SQL injection is not working on this. So this is the important. Then also we are going to change one more thing, test one more thing because we have worried lots of about this SQL injection. Okay, good. So SQL injection is not working in our form. Now, right now if we are press button, we cannot get any type of message. So we put here only required so if user press this button we can get this type of message in last of this project we will change the security of this old login page and made high security login page but right now we are going to make simple so you can easily understand how we can work on this so this way we can create login page admin panel in next video i am going to show you how you can add item in our project so we can display that item in user side so in next video we are going to show how we can add item means how we can add product on our page thank you